Hello everyone and welcome to this Remit Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to find the broken links. So let's begin. First, let me show you the example of the broken link and then we will see how we can automate this one. So for this particular tutorial, I will be using a jQuery website. So this is a website jQueryUI.com and here if you see that there are multiple links available here and if I go to this contribute and if you click on this CLA, you click on this one, you see that? The page not found so this link is broken and it returned 404 so this is a broken link now we need to automate this thing let's go to the PyCharm here and let me create one new file and I will name it as broken links okay and the first thing I need to do is that I need to you know use the driver maximize the browser open the application okay so the first thing is that let's create a variable url and let's have the value of this url here and let me go back here copy this url from here paste it here now what we need to do is that we need a driver so driver is equals to web driver dot chrome okay and here you go on this one import this name and you see that we have all the drivers options available go with the selenium web driver because it contains all these drivers and now the thing is second thing is that we need to maximize the browser driver dot maximize window and now we will you know open the url so driver dot get and inside this i will pass this variable which is known as url it contains the complete url okay now i need to get all links so there must be more than one link right so i will say all underscore links and driver dot find elements because there will be more than one element there will be more than one link right so that's why we'll be using find elements and how to find the elements so if i go to uh, this particular website here and if i right click on this one so basically you see that this is the anchor tag and inside anchor tag there's an attribute called harif so what i will do is that I will get all the tags with the basically what I will do is that I will get all anchor tags and it will give me all the helps as well. Okay, so simply what I'll do is that so by dot tag underscore name and we need to import the by here and then the tag which i need is anchor tag here so it will give me all the anchor tags available on that particular page now let's print the count of this one so simply print and then i will say f and then total number of links on the page colon so here we will be using a length and here we will passing this all underscore links here okay so it will basically print this one so let me run this one and see what happens it should print the number of total number of links on this particular page so we got some error um, by dot tag underscore name so let me go here i think there's a typo mistake so let's go with the tag underscore name yeah this is the correct one and now let's run this one again and it will print all the links available on this page so there are one one two links on this page okay now as as we see that there are more than one link so what I need to do is that I need to loop these links. 
I need to traverse these links one by one. And when I am traversing, I will be getting the href because href contains the URL. So here you see that this href attribute contains the URL. So I will get this href and it will contain this URL. Once I will have this URL, I will hit this URL. So if I hit this one, I'm just clicking here. So it's basically hitting this URL. Okay. And I'm getting the response of this one. So when we talk about the broken links, so broken links basically, you know, that's having the status like 400, 401, 404, 500. So get any status greater than 400 is basically considered as a broken link. Okay. So simply what I'll do here is that I will write a loop here for link in all links. So when I start the loop, so I need a href. So I will say header. This is a variable link from link dot. So basically I am, I need to get an attribute. So href is an attribute. So get attribute and which attribute I need is a href. Okay. Now when I get this attribute, it will save the value here. Okay. And this is basically a HTTP URL. Now I need to hit this URL. So in order to hit this URL, I will be using the request from the Python and I will use that request to hit the URL. So simply I will create uh, one variable called response. I need to save response over there. So request request dot get and inside this I will pass this particular variable because it can be the URLs which I extracted from using this loop. Okay. Now here import the request. So you see that request has been imported and this is not coming from the Selenium. Okay. This is coming from the Python itself. Okay. Now it will hit this one. And now once it will hit the URLs, now I will use a condition here. So condition is that if response dot you see that we have a status underscore code so response dot status underscore code is greater than an equal to greater than an equals to okay then i will say okay print right now i'm just printing this one so print what print so broken link and I will pass this header this is a variable and now I will say status code status code and that a status code would be basically response dot status underscore code okay and i will close it here and i'm done so simply now i will close the driver at the end driver dot quit okay so basically uh what i'm doing is that i'm getting all the anchor text here and i'm printing using the length so it will printing the number of the count because length will give me a count. And once I know that there are more than one links available, so I'm traversing using the link. I have created a one variable here and I'm getting the href attribute from those links. Okay. Because the reason of getting this one, I need to, I need to get this URL. This is under the href attribute. Okay. And after this, I'm hitting these URLs one by one because this is all written inside the loop. I'm hitting one by one here and I'm seeing, checking that if the stress code is greater than or equals to 400, then it's a broken link and print this one. Else, it would be a valid link. Now, let's run this one and see what happens. And as we manually see that CLA link was broken, so let's see either 
it has been detected using this particular script or not. So it's executing. So you see that the first broken link is this one and the status code is 404. So if I go here again and go here, so this is CLA and here again, this is a broken link. This has been caught perfectly and still it's, you know, executing the code traversing because loop is going on. So it will go one by one in the links, getting the href attribute, which is the link and then hitting the URL and checking the status code. So there's another broken link found, which has 404. So if I copy this one, I'm not sure where it would be on the page, but let me copy this one from here. Uh, let me go to the page here and this is HTML already open. Let me find this one. So this is the URL using jQuery. So this is a URL basically. So if I go here and click this one. So again, you see that sorry, the page request was not found. So this means that our script is absolutely working fine and it's finding the broken links. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.